today, I don't care if you are tall, short, white, black, male, female, everybody across the board wants to feel better about themselves. It's a, it's a basic universal trait. And that starts with what you put on and in your body. Everyone loves to work out, but they say, you know, abs are made in the kitchen. I'm still waiting for mine to kick in, but um, <laughs> it's Indian genetics, people. It's not that great. Um, but we're great at business. So, um, so for me, that's where it starts. And everybody out there is looking to feel better about themselves. And with the advent and access of information that we have today, I don't care if you're in Des Moines or Manhattan, you're still getting the same information. And so you're still looking for the same products. Today, we should be eating high protein, high good fats, um, high fiber. Instead, you go to the stores today and what do you see? You see high sh sugar, high carbs, high fructose corn syrup, highly processed. Literally, if you walk down the aisles today in a grocery store, it's upside down. It's, by the way, why Amazon and Bezos are brilliant, they didn't buy the traditional grocery stores, they bought Whole Foods. It gave them instant credibility in the grocery world, and now the beauty is you can get products directly to consumers as e-commerce and grocery explodes. But the aisles today are old and ripe for disruption. When cheese can last six years on the shelf, maybe it's not cheese. <laughs> I won't mention the brand because I hope some of these companies buy my brand, so <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. And so this disruption in what is a trillion dollar category when you combine all this stuff together is why I feel that America is the greatest place to be an entrepreneur. Because all the big food and beverage ideas, by the way, good and bad, um, start here and then get adopted across the globe. And I think that as an entrepreneur here, it's part of the DNA and spirit of this country. Everything that's huge today started with an entrepreneur and that that's more apparent today in food and beverage than ever before.